All right, Alan Jones. Alan Jones. Got a question here. Now, I'm going to remember to do this. I know star schema is better, but if my oh. data model lends itself to a snowflake schema with things off the dimension table, how bad is that? What are the best practices for a snowflake model? I love Patrick's okay. reaction to that. <laughs> Every time so, he hates it. Thanks that. for the, the wonderful question, wonderful voice. Thank you very much. So <laughs> I think that uh, the, the Snowflake works in Power BI. There are two problems that you have to be careful about. One is uh, performance. Performance could be bad. I mean, could be worse, but it works if the model is not too big, especially if the first relationship to the table is not uh, too large, meaning uh, it's not more than 100 to 100,000 unique values, uh, it is still fine. The second problem is about calculations. Uh, when you have a Snowflake schema, depending on the DAX code you write, uh, you might have uh, some issue in, um, um, in the way you express uh, the calculation, uh, especially the way you manipulate the filter, the way you uh, obtain uh, the context transition when you have uh, other many related tables involved. So uh, it depends. Uh, it could be confusing, especially when you have complex calculations. As long as your calculation is simple, again, not a problem. In every case, uh, try to avoid bidirectional relationships, bidirectional filters, because that would hurt uh, not only the performance, but also the correctness of many calculations.